guys watch this channel, you already know what I'm about on the defensive side of the ball. Match this, match that, match this, match that. I know, you guys get it. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys something completely different. This is a very, very sneaky one play touchdown against match quarters and palms. And I know you guys are gonna love it. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Dan from the Zaman YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a completely off meta one play touchdown formula that you can run out of a bunch set or creating your or creating your own bunch set via motion and this is going to require nothing more than just simple hot routes and i think that's what it and i think that's what makes this tip so great so you guys have probably seen a one play touchdown formula against match out of the seattle seahawks playbook in which you guys run the play clear out split end out and that play is really really good but in order to run that play you have to be in basically one of uh, like two playbooks in the game or three playbooks in the game that has that clear out uh that kind of runs that little setup in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create the exact same setup but using just simple hot routes so i'm going to show this to you out of bunch I'm going to show it to you out of shotgun and under center. And I'm also going to show you guys how to window dress this a little bit by utilizing motion. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is a simple one play touchdown formula, again, just with hot routes. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, quarters. And I am going to just call any play I want. Doesn't matter. Let's call the play uh, verticals. Everybody loves verticals. And what we've got here on this particular play is a setup in which we are going to block the running back. We're gonna put the tight end on a delay fade. Yes, I know, delay fades, those got patched, right? They're not usable, you're about to see. We're gonna put them on a delay fade. We're then gonna put the right bumper on a fade and we're gonna put the B receiver on a smart out route. It's that simple. Now, the reason I blocked the running back is that I want him in to help pick up any potential edge rushers because my last step is going to involve slide protecting to the right, to the tight end side and double teaming the man the tight end would block. This is going to make it so that the offensive tackle goes out to the outside and gets a body on that player. And the presence of this tight end delay fade is actually going to make the inside quarter, which is this player, Adrian Amos, basically flinch down. And that's going to free up our fade to Justin Jefferson. So this is really a three route combo. It's kind of a two route combo. Uh, and with this, you might go ahead and maybe put the backside player on a drag for a check down or maybe a deep in route of his own if you feel comfortable with just your slide protection this way you can maybe put the running back on an option route again i like to block the running back just to make sure that i have extra protection what, you do? Go. But what you're going to see on this play is the safety ends up biting down so you're going to see right here when we step step up into this throw you end up with the safety basically biting on the tight end delay fade and it ends up being a one play touchdown over the top uh, this should remind you a lot of the dig return one play touchdown. It's kind of the same principle, but you don't have to be in the play dig return to make this work. Again, let me go ahead and show you how this works. We're going to go ahead and maybe max protect if you want. That makes it so you don't burn a hot route. Uh, you could go ahead and slide protect double team icon over towards the tight end. Uh, you're going to put the tight end on a delay fade, right bumper on a fade. You're going to put B on a smart out route and whatever you want to do with X. Again, with this particular setup, you're going to let the tight end run his route. That safety bites down. And when that happens, you're just going to throw up a one play touchdown. If you guys are enjoying this free YouTube content, I would strongly urge you to go over to my strategy website. GridironGamePlans.gg is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our vault update, we take a look at the meta or the most effective tactics available being used by pro players on the MCS circuit. Breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active and access to our Discord server where every single Wednesday, we have a live lab session covering the week's vault content and any questions you guys have about Madden. So make sure you guys head over to gridirongameplans.gg, $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website. So this is a concept that uh, is basically something you can run out of any formation that is bunch by default or allows you to motion to bunch. So let me go ahead and show this to you out of uh, my favorite formation, which is the single back bunch X nasty. So as you guys know, this is what I've run all year long and I'm going to show it to you out of this. I could choose any play, put the tight end on delay fade, block the running back, right bumper on a fade, be on a smart out route. 
X can be on whatever he wants. Uh, I'll go ahead and just put him on maybe a slant. And you're just going to put a double team icon on the edge near the tight end and slide protect towards him. And once he releases on that route, that safety bites down. And then you're just going to be able to chuck it over his head. And that's going to end up being the easiest lob one play touchdown in the game for you against match coverage. This will also apply against Palms, Cover 6, and Cover 9 because they all use what is called the box check against Bunch. Now, if you guys want to know more about match coverage and how to prevent these one play touchdown bombs, make sure you guys go over to gridirongameplans.gg because I have a match game plan that is dedicated to teaching you the ins and outs of quarters, palms, cover six and cover nine, and also what beats those particular coverages, much like this particular setup and how to one play touchdown proof those coverages. So if you guys want to, you know, make your match coverage even better, go over and check out that game plan. But again, this is something that you can do out of any bunch formation. Doesn't matter if it's single back, shotgun, X nasty, whatever you want. Uh, and you can actually create this by motioning to bunch. So let me go ahead and show you another example. I'm gonna come out in a formation. Um, let's come out in tight slots halfback week. And I'm gonna call quarters here. And what you're gonna wanna do is motion across the receiver and create a bunch look. So I'm gonna motion Jefferson here. Now with this particular play, again, you're gonna put B on that fade, X on the smart out route because you've created a bunch set. You're gonna put the tight end on a delay fade. You're gonna slide protect towards the tight end and double team whoever you can on that side. Now with this particular concept, you might also block the running back, but when this ball is snapped, that guy's gonna release down the field. It causes that safety to flinch and you're gonna throw that over his head for that one play score. So you see right there, it's that easy. You can do this out of any formation in which you can motion to a bunch look, or you could just break the huddle in that type of formation as well. Um, so again, you know, something super, super simple. You could do this uh, from a lot of different formations. That was tight slots, half back week. Uh, if I wanted to come out in something like maybe for instance, um, you'd have to obviously have a tight end in your formation to make this work. So that might limit you a little bit. Uh, but if you want to come out in something, you know, that was another type of tight formation, uh, that would be something that you could do as well. Uh, for instance, here's the tight flex. Uh, with the tight flex, you might be able to do the same thing. So when we motion this uh, running back to this spot, he becomes a tight end. So you could put the running back on a delay fade, slide protect towards him, double team on whoever. Uh, and then you're gonna put A on a, on a fade and B on a smart out route. And then from there, you can kind of do whatever you want with the other side, but it's gonna be the same drill. Player releases down the middle and you see right there that A ends up being the one play touchdown. And that's to our actual tight end Conklin, who's really not that fast, but it has the exact same uh, effect on that particular play. So again, you could go ahead and kind of do this out of a variety of different things. If you can create a bunch look with any type of motion in this, you're gonna be able to uh, basically, you know, bomb cover four. So again, here we snap this ball, right bumper runs his route. You know that he's gonna drop off A. And you see right there that unfortunately, we, it was a little bit tough to run away from B, but we ended up having that over the top. If you have a faster tight end, it's gonna end up being a one play score for you. So that is today's video, guys. A unique way to bomb match quarters, palms, cover six and cover nine, because they all use the same rule known as the box check. Uh, if you guys want more on match coverages, go over to gridirongameplans.gg. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you guys drop a like, hit that comment button, type something out, let me know what you think about the tip. And uh, also make sure you guys consider subscribing to the channel as we push for 12,000 subscribers here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. We'll be back tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.